Thank you so much. A plea tonight from a mother and father from Reading after their son goes missing overseas. Yeah, the teen was studying abroad in Cape Town, South Africa, when he disappeared swimming in the eastern Cape province. News 8's Erin Logan spoke with his parents tonight. She is live in Reading tonight with more. Erin? Darren and Ann, I just spoke with Nicholas Upton's parents inside their Reading home. Under the circumstances, they are extremely calm. All they ask for is that more time is devoted in the search to find their son. They say he's strong and they believe he is fighting in treacherous weather conditions to stay alive. I, I, I know he's alive. I can't, I, I can't believe anything else. There's no other. Margaret Morowski got the call last night that her 19-year-old son, Nicholas Upton, was missing after being pulled by a riptide while swimming with six friends in the southeastern part of Africa. The George Washington University student has been studying abroad in South Africa. He was last seen with the students at the Bulangula Lodge, a very remote area. Weather conditions have been described as horrible, making the search challenging. In fact, his mother was told helicopters and planes were grounded so the search mainly consisted of people on the ground. Tonight, the news from the National Sea Rescue Institute that the search is no longer a rescue, it's a recovery. And we're just pleading and asking that we continue a rescue because he could be on shore somewhere and hurt and needs to be found. He could be hanging on a buoy somewhere. We just need, we really, he's a strong kid. He's, you know, um, on the school rowing team. He's six foot four. He's really big kid. She's extremely thankful to all of Nicholas's friends who've reached out and even strangers in South Africa who've helped in the search, but is hopeful a more intensive search will resume Tuesday. They're the experts. They're the, they're our chance to finding Nicholas alive. They're, they're our chance. Now in about two hours, it'll be 6 a.m. in South Africa, and Nicholas's parents say at that time the search will begin again, and they will keep a close eye, of course, on their cell phones, on their Facebook pages, waiting for answers, waiting for some good news that their son is alive and well. Live in Reading tonight, Aaron Logan, News 8.